Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sean Star 86. Uh, today I want to show you my homemade um, camera stabilizer. As you can see, it's I got to used to it still. Um, it kind of looks like the Optica one that the Optica sells on eBay. Um, still getting used to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so you can see the whole thing. Uh, there you go. Um, all the parts all together cost me like less than twenty dollars. It was um this little you know what I'm gonna have to show you uh with a different camera because it's all connected. This thing is very loose. Not I mean loose, I mean like smooth. Um once you turn it like this, one slight turn, you know, it, it turns really easy. I have the um you can kinda see it a little bit, the uh Traxxas gimbal that I made with a skateboard bearing in here inside there the gimbal then a long screw going into the um, aluminum bar that I cut and painted um, so right now I'm going to show you that it works really smoothly um, it takes a while to get used to you have to adjust the little weights on the bottom yes I have made little weights right here that you can see right there um, they're little, uh, washers, I guess you can call them. And, um, I use them as weights. I painted those as well. A red color, you know, just to make it look a little formal and a little nice. Uh, I'm going to show you all the parts right now, and we'll get back to, uh, watching the stabilizer in action. Alright. Alright, so here we go. We have the parts, uh, all the all the materials you need to make this um, camera stabilizer. Alright, so first off, we're going to start with the aluminum uh, rod, pole, whatever you want to call it. Um, this thing was just about four feet long. Um, I chopped it up. As you can see, it's all jagged on the edges. I chopped it up to this nice curvature um, shape I uh, rounded the edges I can show you with this extra piece I have right here compared to this rounded the edges painted it black smoothened it out uh, drilled some holes in it as you can see right there this is just a spare piece that I was going to use but I figure I don't really need it because um, I make do with what I got so here we go we have this piece right here, this small tiny piece of PVC, whatever hell you want to call it, this cost like 25 cents, um, maybe 20 cents each. We also have these little screws right here with the bolts. As you can see, I have uh, one, two, three, four of them, including this one. These cost about 25 cents each as well, just for the bolt, and then you have to pay uh, like 5 cents for the little uh, screw part right there um, a bunch of washers these are like uh, I would say goodness like five cents each I painted them red as you can see I have a bunch of them some are still silver um, then we have these uh, longer longer ones which I already added in I painted it black but the paint chipped then we have uh, the most important pieces right here oops this is a uh, Traxxas uh, I forget the number, the model. I'll I'll put the link under the description uh, where I got it from on eBay. It costs like six dollars. It comes with two of them. Um, this is one piece. This goes in here like it's kind of hard to put together, but it goes in there through these little holes, as you can see there. And then this one will be like this. So it'll be like when you're moving it, it's like a joint basically, with um, this piece in the middle, as you can see right here on this one. See. Alright, then I have a uh, bearing, skateboard bearing, you know, used one laying around the house. You probably can find a rollerblade bearing, which goes inside here in a PVC pipe. And then I sanded down the uh, edges of this uh, Traxxas uh, gimbal, and I, I put it inside the bearing like this in here. 
uh, well, you gotta bang the bearing into the, um, in the slot right there. And it'll look like this, right here. See? Spins. Um, the only thing I, uh, I have, um, which is a little bit, uh, I guess you could say, um, janky, is that this screw isn't tight, and I have this, what do you call it, um, there's this tape right here that I have that you wrap around a wire, I mean, I wrap around a screw to fasten, tighten it. They're usually used in, like, plumbing departments in Home Depot or something like that to, uh, fasten a, uh, a screw to stop leaks. But I just did that because the inside of this is too big for one of these bolts. See? It just jiggles around in there like that. So I wrapped that yellow, um, tape around the the bolt like five or six times all the way down and then screwed the Traxxas gimbal on which brings you to this right here. It's still a little loose but um, I'm probably going to super glue it. Um, then I put these washers um, along the top of it right here just because uh, this 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 one right here, this uh, screw, excuse me, is a bit long so I put these washers in here just to get a little more space and a little more handle, whoops, a little more hand room. Then also I have um, on the top of my um, camera stabilizer handle, I put these paddings I got from the dollar store. It comes with like 50 of these things. They're the corkscrew tips. They're sticky on one side. Um, there's like four, 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 just to, just to um, you know, make my camera safe so it doesn't mess up on this uh, aluminum rod. So um, on the bottom I cut cut this rod in half and then I made these little pieces right here and uh, this is like I would say three and a half inches long this way and I have a bunch of uh, these washers as well as counterweights to uh, make the camera swing back and forth and keep the camera steady with some small washers as well so this gives it a balance um, to keep your camera steady and um, that's one of the most important pieces of this handle well, besides the gimbal, this is really important. And, um, yeah, there you go. So, basically, this is under $20 to make. And it's almost the exact same replica as the um, the one you see on eBay uh, made by Optica. And um, it's similar to the Merlin one as well, I believe. So, I'm going to show you it. And um, I'm going to use it and show you how it keeps the camera steady. And uh, give you a, an idea of what I'm talking about. This thing will save you a lot of money if you put one together yourself. All you need is um, some tools, maybe in your dad's garage or something like that. Cut the cut the uh, the rod in half and then um, drill the holes with the drill. So that's uh, basically it. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll get back to you guys later. So uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Peace.